Hello students. Hello sir. Watch this video carefully. After this, we will discuss the topic classroom management. Okay sir. Just now we have seen a teacher who faced indisciplined class. She just did her teaching. She didn't give time to students. She didn't manage the class. She just took the time and walk away without listening the problems of student. Now tell me, what went wrong in the video? I can see the sitting arrangement. It was not proper, which led to students disturbing others to get their seats. The teacher could not attract the attention of the students. So the students ignored her presence. She did not try to solve the problems of the students. Instead, she scolded them and she did not even try to find out if any student was hurt or not. Yes, all this went wrong. And what about her teaching method? She just completed her teaching. It was totally teacher-centered. It was clear from the students that behavior that they were getting, it was bored and not interesting at all. Now, let us discuss what should have been the right way to manage the class. On reaching in the class, the teacher should have smiled and greeted the students. Uh, it also helped the students settle down fast. 
very good if possible she should have changed the sitting arrangements so there should be a moving space for teachers and for students both of them so we reach to the conclusion that a proper sitting arrangement should be there for students and teachers yes sir may i add some more to it yes yes you are welcome so other infrastructure in the class like uh, lights and fans should also be taken care of they should be working properly and the students should not be made to sit near the open windows uh, so they are not distracted uh, to the sounds coming from outside even the students with the problems like short sightedness and long sightedness they should also be taken care of the blackboard should be placed properly in the class so that uh, it is visible to all the students and the uh, students with the hearing problems they should also be taken care of well these physical factors are play an important role in class management now let's discuss student teacher relationship in class management the teacher should have good communication skills she should understand the problem of student she should try to solve them she should behave a good manner she should behave a very positively and apart from this she should make them understanding they should uh, uh, make students comfortable in her presence and after that after leaving the class she should accessible in her actions also and all this is not difficult if you love teaching and children this comes to you naturally moreover you must also imbibe the values of love care cooperation tolerance in your students alongside teaching nobody will come to teach these things separately hmm and relationship between teacher and student and among student should be good it is must for the class to run smoothly and maximum learning taking place the team work should be encouraged into students yes what do you want to say interesting teaching methods should be adopted by the teachers to keep the students engaged and interested very well said just completing your lesson is not enough learning and teaching makes one complete circle if you teach and a student do not learn it means teaching has taken place without effect it is just a waste of time so we have learned the component of classroom management physical which includes infrastructure and its proper arrangement second is human component which includes relationship between teacher and students and among students it is proper management by teacher third is teaching learning process which should be interesting and child centered all these components together make a good classroom in which learning takes place happily okay sir now i would like to show you a well managed classroom let's see this video and try to improve your skills let us know if you if you will go on a nature if you will walk outside if you will make friends any different kinds of the plants is happening there so the activity is also given diagram very neatly in the way hope you all understands the ways of teaching learning process